you to an adventurous part of Tripura, the very well-known Chobimura, but in a very different kind of trip with all the senior generation who are my mom and her friends with whom the trip took a very different level. So Chobimura is located 82 kilometers away from Agartala, from Udaipur it is around 30 kilometers and from Amarpur it is around 7.5 kilometers. We started the journey from Agartala which took around 1.5 hours via Shipaijala route to reach the Noko Ghat which was located in Maharani, Udaipur. If you want to take a tour of the entire Chobimura, then I will advise you that you must go through the waterway and must seek assistance of the local boats or the government tourist boats which are easily available. So here we start our adventurous journey. The boat will take you through the river Gomti and on both sides of which you will find dense forests, the sceneries, the trees, the birds, everything. I just love to explore new places and especially the places where I can get more closer to the nature. I just love it. And Chovimura, it is also known as the Amazon of Tripura because it is no less than the Amazon rainforest. One thing that it is a very much pocket friendly trip. Chobimura is actually famous for its panels of rock caving which was done long back on 15th to 16th century on steep mountain wall on the bank of river Gomti. Here you can see huge carved images of Shiva, Vishnu, Kartika and wow can you see goddess Durga and it is around 20 feet high and this place is known as Dev Tamura and it is 90 degrees steep like 90 degrees wow. After that we stopped at a place in the midway of the river where one can go through the jungle it's kind of a cave to view a waterfall. And as you can see, the path is very, very slippery and it's very risky. You have to be very careful. The dense forests, the roots over the rocks are also home for various snakes and insects. But whatever, I really enjoyed it. And also there is a saying of the local tribe that there is a massive snake inside the cave which is guarding a large bounty of ancient treasure. But unfortunately, we couldn't go very far because of the bad and slippery way. If you want to detoxify yourself, especially from the digital world, you must come here. The fascinating part of the route is the river, which feels like ending from somewhere, like it will just end far away between the two hills, but it's never gonna end. So ultimately we reached our guest house at Chobimura and this is a really nice place to stay, to take rest but it should be pre-booked and also there are arrangements of fooding and I will say the enjoyment was doubled with the oldies because they prove Dil to Bacha Hai Ji for real. The guest house and started our return journey and while returning we came across local villagers who were fishing in their local boats and can you see such a big fish so I literally enjoyed the trip a lot and being the only child in the group with so many uncle and aunts it was just a too much of fun the trip came to an end with the evening sunset which was really serene and it was indeed an awesome trip I ever had in my life. Thanks mom, I owe you.